Hey guys, welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis with my girl Dana Ward. Hello. And we are welcoming back into the studio for, gosh, the umpteenth time. Uh -huh. I feel like it's awesome to have Nathan <laughs> Kress with us today. Woo! Yes! <laughs> You're a regular correspondent here at Clever That's TV. That's true. Seriously. I should get a cut of this for what I'm doing here. I will send you the check in the mail, yes. sir. Um, so we're super excited to have you here today to talk about a totally new project. Game of Your Life, it's gonna be airing this Friday, December 2nd on mm -hmm. NBC. Break it down for us. Okay, so basically, the movie centers around four college freshmen who are going to a video game design school called Digged. Um, I dig it. Dig, yes. <laughs> dig, you dig it digged? Mm, there dig, you go. I do. That's Digged difficult indeed. to say. <laughs> I know. But, uh, <laughs> so they go to this school, and uh, there's a big freshman project that's so difficult that it knocks out half the freshman class. So it's a big test to see if you have what it takes to stand up to the program. Wow. Um, so these four people are teamed together, and the main character, uh, Zach Taylor, played by the awesome Titus Macon Jr., uh, he is kind of the, the leader of the team, um, but he is presented with an opportunity by one of the school's higher-ups to, uh, to consult for another video game company, which is extremely lucrative, for him, but right. it's also breaking the rules at the school, and it kind of puts uh -oh. his his time in jeopardy with his team because he's focused on that and mm -hmm. not on the project. So that's kind of where the conflict is centered, and uh, basically, it's it's all about him making the decision whether to honor his commitment to his team or to do something that's uh, more beneficial to him or uh, to his father because he finds out that his his house is being foreclosed. Oh, so oh, it's man. like he needs the money to keep yeah. his house, but he also needs to, com you know, keep his commitment to his team. So it's it's a it's a very difficult, you know, and and relatable conflict. For sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're one of the team members, Philip. Right. Tell us a little bit how you fit about how you fit onto the team. Basically, the team breaks into four characters: the uh, the dreamer character, who's kind of the creative influence, played by uh, Titus, and then I am the programmer. So I'm basically writing all the code and and building the mechanics and the backbone of the game itself. And then the art director, uh, who's Donald, who's kind of my cohort character, played by Adam Cagley. He's the uh, he's the art director, so he's kind of the creative, spacey, uh, artsy guy. And then we have the producer, Sarah, played by Dana De La Garza, and she's kind of just keeping us all on track and making sure we don't get too distracted. <laughs> um, so it's, everybody's got their own little niche thing, and uh, the interaction between Philip and Donald, I gotta say, is, is probably my favorite thing that I got to do. Um, because so much of, of the entire movie was actually improvised. Um, really? For that Wait, dialogue. Because really? The, the, Freddie and Sam interaction where they're always kind of bickering and fighting uh -huh. with each other, mm -hmm. all that stuff is scripted, whereas all the stuff that um, Adam and I did, it was, I would say, probably 95% improvised. There was there was one scene um, that ended up, it was kind of a blooper, but it was funny enough that they kept it in. Nice. Uh, there's, there's a scene where we're all working on a homework assignment and I'm photoshopping an embarrassing picture of Donald. and. Uh, he start. He takes me out of my office chair and he starts spinning the chair around and trying to make me sick or whatever. And uh, on one of the takes, he spun me so hard that uh, the chair fell over and I flew out and it was this <laughs> whole big thing. And uh, I got up and it was. I could tell it was like gonna hurt later, but it was okay for now. So I was just gonna keep going with the take. Um, so we kept going and then he came out and he was like, "That was really funny. Can we do it again?" Oh and, no! And uh, like eight takes later, there we were falling out of the chair every time. And then I watched. I watched it back and I'm pretty sure they used the first take. Oh, so that's awesome. Kind of did the other ones for no particular reason, but it was still fun. <laughs> um, I got to do my stunt for the movie, which oh, was man. which was really cool. Uh, no stunt doubles. That's right. You did it all. Does but it's sense. like all that all that stuff. It was just free floating, and we had no idea what was going to happen. And when something did happen, we just went with it. You know. This so. must have been super exciting for you. You know, working on iCarly is awesome, but what are you most excited about for your viewers and your longtime fans to see from you that's different? I guess just to see a different character. Yeah. That I've been, you know, I've been playing Freddy for so long and it's it's gotten to the point where we're practically one and the same. You know, I can I can go into a table read for iCarly and know exactly how I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. Um, just because it's pretty much how I would say it. So <laughs> Uh, I, I got Freddy down to a T, but this was coming into a completely different character. And you know, while they still kind of have the same techie interests, it was still a completely different personality. Philip is a very dry, kind of literal analytical character because he's the programmer, he's kind of the math whiz, so everything mm -hmm. is just very cut and dry. Exactly. Um, and it's said in the movie uh, by Donald that Philip is irony challenged. 
so he doesn't really get sarcasm. Yeah, no. He takes uh, everything at face yeah. value. So he's a very simplistic character. So when somebody says something, he'll take it seriously whether they mean it or not, which kind of puts him into awkward social situations. <laughs> totally. Yeah. So Speaking was, of Philip too, you have a shirt on. I oh, do. Yeah, this, this is, is the wardrobe, right? A, this, is, this was Philip's wardrobe, which I thought was cool, except when we found out that we were going to be shooting in Atlanta in the summer, wearing all black, <laughs> I wasn't as excited about it. But it, w it was really cool because, you know, Freddie's, he wears, you know, neon colors and stripes and plaids and all that stuff. And, and Philip is black. It's, yeah, he wears yeah. nothing, no nothing but black. And gamer stuff across the t-shirt. Yeah, too. so Lots there's of there was tees, right? one of the press pictures that they used was me like holding a controller and doing like a uh, face with the gamer <laughs> thing written across there. I was like, I was trying to think if if Philip was trying to be gangsta, oh. holding a controller with oh. his right. little tattoo across his chest, how would he look? Totally. And that was it. That did, was it. Did you get to play any <laughs> games, P.S., we while did. you were on set? Xbox was very involved in this movie, which oh, was cool. really cool. We got we didn't have to cover up any trademarks or anything because we, <laughs> they were like the, our, our movie-specific console. Oh, um, nice. We had access to uh, to some of the Kinect games before they were actually released. Ooh, you know, it was one of those things where like insider. the guy comes in with like the, the handcuffed briefcase and <laughs> opens up the game, puts it in the Xbox, you know. Um, so we do get to play some stuff that hasn't actually been seen yet. Um, which was really cool because they knew that it was coming out around Christmas time, mm -hmm. so they wanted to be able to play the new games, you know. Um, so that was really fun. Connect is it's a it's a pretty serious workout. I actually I have the the system at home, and uh, it was definitely there. Was, there was a scene where we have this whole Connect party at the school. Are you and, dancing? Uh, no, <laughs> no. That would that would be a whole different uh, no. a whole different movie. <laughs> um, it's it's Donald and I doing the river rafting thing. Oh, cool! But we don't work Me. well together at all, so we're like fighting with each other and saying the other one's doing the other thing wrong, you know. Um, so it, and it becomes this whole kung fu fight, which was probably one of my favorite Whoa. scenes to film. Uh, that it was fun. We got totally into it and we improvised like all of our moves and and all that stuff um, we had no idea how that was gonna work before we got there but we just kind of just decided to wing it and it became its own scene nice. so it, was, it was really cool and it's totally pathetic when you watch it because like we're all into it but nobody's even like making contact you know? I'm sure it's entertaining <laughs> oh it's right? extremely entertaining <laughs> I mean I hope I hope that the fans at home will agree when they see it but I had a lot of fun shooting that one that one that was definitely one of my favorite scenes Nice. Very cool. Well, congratulations Thank you. on this new project. I know that we are looking forward to it. Especially to see this scene. Yeah. We're like <laughs> fighting particular. right now, actually. Uh -huh. Kung Fu and This game. is, honestly, that's about this as close as we get to each other. <laughs> this is hilarious. So it's going down this Friday, December Friday. 2nd on NBC. Mm -hmm. We're going to have all the info down in our story info for you guys. You got to make sure and check it out. You got to check out Nathan Kress doing his thing as Philip. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Game fun. of your life. Well, thanks for coming by. Absolutely. Always good pleasure. to have you here. Happy to be in this new office too. Isn't it splendid? It's, they got, I swear, studio. they got the best view in Hollywood. Come on like, by, guys. Come on. When you're in town, stop <laughs> on by. That's right. All of you guys out there, thank you so much for watching Clever TV from Dana Ward and our entire crew here at Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis. See you later. Bye. Bye. Peace.